Apple releases iOS 5.0.1 Beta 1 and 2 to deal with the iPhone battery issues. The iPhone 4S is coming to 50 more countries as of November 11th. And the semi-tethered jailbreak Dev Team project seems to be working. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everyone, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Now iReview, the show where we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. Let's start this week off with the cool. That's right, Apple has just released iOS 5.0.1 Beta 1 and shortly thereafter Beta 2 to deal with the complaints that we talked about last week. iPhone 4S customers are complaining about lame battery life and while well, the iPad owners are complaining about the fact that they can unlock their devices easily. So far Apple has not mentioned that they'll also be dealing with the Siri issues because I don't think Apple considers it an issue that Siri is able to work even when your phone's locked. So expect for the update really soon though I wouldn't expect the Siri update to come. Apple's been doing a really great job in releasing their iPhone for rest of the masses so far. 50 more countries are getting it as of November 11th, so expect it in a country near you, though sadly, well, a lot of people in the U.S. are finding Apple stores to be sold out. An irony. And hey, what's a new version of iOS 5 without a jailbreak, huh? Well, reports have it that the dev team has already brought their semi-tethered jailbreak service to the betas of iOS 5.0.1. Remember, semi-tethered means that you'll be able to use your device jailbroken as long as you don't have to reset it. If you end up resetting it or get, get stuck, all you have to do is, well, connect it to a PC to be able to get your jailbreak back or, well, just reset your device and instead of being stuck in the Apple logo, the semi-tether will allow you to boot your device to a non-tethered jailbreak break state and well you work with your device before you get to a PC and then you jailbreak it again. Really cool. Out of this week's coverage, make sure you catch Adam Lane's recent video comparing Navigon's service on both Windows Phone 7 and the iPhone and well it's no trick question who won that battle the iPhone. And also catch Dan Webster's iOS app picks which air every week bringing you five new applications in 30 seconds each. A really short and sweet way to discover new applications every week. And while we all know that Seaspire just got the goods being another US carrier that's getting the iPhone 4S in their network. The cool thing here is you'll get an unlimited data plan just like you do in Sprint. Some speculations out there have it that the FCC will probably dog them because of the fact that people are not really going to be satisfied if they're giving out unlimited data and not being able to comply, but according to Seaspire, they will be able to do the job. Now, interesting enough, US Cellular is not going to be one of the carriers that's going to be carrying the iPhone 4S. According to them, they're open to get it but they didn't like the conditions of the contract between Apple and them. Probably they didn't feel that they could sell as many iPhones, but so far, it's really cool to see the iPhone coming up on new carriers, and well, let's hope that they do a really good job in pointing it to everywhere, because it seems that it's one device to rule all carriers. That does it for the cool, let's continue on with the not so cool. In an interesting note, John Theriault, which is Apple's former vice president of global security, just left Apple. And well, guess why? Well, first of all, if you lose one iPhone 4 prototype, well... Now, stop me if you've already seen this. <laughs> you could probably get into trouble, but if you lose two, I mean an iPhone 4S prototype was also lost, you definitely need to get your act together. Now, so far Apple has been famous for sucking at their security measures and letting their phones leak, then hey, none of us in the tech world are actually complaining because these leaks are actually what give us our bread and butter. So, so far it's sad to see the guy leave because he was really making our job really cool, but it's sad to see that Apple's dealing with this and well, let's just hope that somebody else, this new guy that comes on board dealing with his job is able to bring us some iPhone 5 leaks. Where's Gizmodo when you need them? And well, aside from the Sprint data issues in the iPhone 4S, you'd expect Apple's investment in their colossal data center to be keeping them up like an Energizer bunny just going and going and going. But sadly, well, Siri just fell. It fell off the charts a couple of days ago, and we really don't know why the outage was happening. Though obviously, we're sure that not many of you were actually missing talking to your phones. But still, it seems that Apple really needs to get their act together with these data centers because their services keep falling lately. And every time they launch something, something goes wrong. Apple, deal with it. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.